Hello everyone, this is Sakib Khalid, the M1X MacBook Pro 2021. The MacBook 16 inches 2021 is to arrive just the right time. The M1X MacBook Air and M1 MacBook Pro has rightfully been in the spotlight for a new age of Apple computing, but things are always move forward. So it's time to talk about the what's Apple's next MacBook Pro 16 inches has in store. Well, in this video, I will tell you about the details, features, price, release date. So watch this video till the end. Recent rumors painted a pretty fantastic, amazing renders. The biggest change set to come to the 2021 MacBook Pro is the loss of touch bar. According to the Ming-Chi Q, the ever-changing touchscreen band is being replaced by a set of physical keys. The report claims that we would expect touch bars to exceed by the tablets when Apple starts the adoption of the 10.9 inches AMOLED iPad. Furthermore, our resources suggest that the Apple may cancel the touch bar in the future. According to Q, the 16 inches MacBook Pro 2021 model will include a larger range of ports. This decision has been partially made to reduce the need of dongles and it will also first time since the late 2015 that a new MacBook has the anything other than USB Type-C, HDMI and SD card renders. According to another rumor, seemingly confirmed that this Thunderbolt USB-C port, an updated MagSafe port and HDMI port, Apple's plan is to render reportedly have multiple gadgets rocking mini LED screens including iPads, iMacs, MacBook Pros. There are a lot of advantages like mini LEDs, which will be uh, back new again. We are getting more reasons to expect it. The nature of the display means it can offer deeper colors and blacks, better contrast, higher brightness and all white being more powerful and being efficient. The M1X chip is also being installed in the M1 MacBook Pro. According to leaker Dylan, known as Dylanic on Twitter, M1X will have a 10-core CPU with 8 big and 2 efficient cores as well. Another leaker claims that the M2 chip set for the use of its next-generation MacBooks. Apparently, you can see a 4nm processor node and a biggest boost.